everyone, this is Kieran from Eccentric Physio. Today's exercise is about progressing our glenohumeral extension and our scap retraction. And so what that means is my shoulder blade going backwards and my arm going behind my body. We've been doing some of these on the ground separately and we're starting to bring them together now as we increase weight and increase the range of things. So we're basically we're making the exercise harder and more demanding, but more applicable. So if you feel like you're ready for some progression away from the ground, then this is a nice exercise for you. So with any progression, if we increase the range over a muscle having to do work, then that's going to increase the challenge whether it's energy systems or just more tension having to be created. Well, as well, we can add a little bit of weight. So these are two and a half kilos. With this kind of exercise, I would be starting with something much, much lower, maybe even like, you know, four, 500 grams, like a can of beans, and then bring in a kilo, and then bring in maybe a kilo, 0.25. Just progress slowly with these. It's a long lever and we don't need heavy weights. We probably wouldn't go past you know, two to three kilos in most people anyway. This is more about trying to wake things up as opposed to strengthening. And that strengthening can be achieved with other exercises. So we need a bench, something to lay on. You could always improvise with things. You could get on like if the armchair, uh, the arm of your couch, for example, is quite wide, you could use something like that. Um, but you can improvise quite a bit. We just need some sort of distance or depth between the bench or whatever you're on and the ground. And what we're gonna do is go through these movements. So I'll show you with and without the weight. So I'm pulling up this way. I'm just trying to get as high as I can. How close can I get to the sky? And then if I go palms up, slightly different variation. If I come into the T position, again, a slightly different challenge. And I come up into this Y position, slightly different challenge. Okay, so with the two and a half kilos, it's going to add a lot more weight. And the extra range is going to make this a lot more difficult than that floor version. So I'm holding the, the weights and I'm doing palms up. As always, making sure you're still breathing. You can go back of the hand to the sky. You can come into the T position, elbows straight. And then the finisher up in front here. Now that overhead position is gonna be slightly more of a Y. So you're coming up and you're a bit more into that Y position. You could go straight flexion this way, but the flexion is a slightly different movement at that shoulder blade. That's more that protraction, that wrapping around, whereas the Y is a bit more of that retraction. So that's that shoulder blade coming backwards versus if I go this way and forwards, my shoulder blades going forwards. If I do the Y, my shoulder blades going backwards. So slightly different. It'll just mean that you get the top end of that range. So you can see I'm a little puffed from doing that and I haven't even done a full work set. You'd be doing a couple sets of each movement. You might not do all four of those, but you might choose a couple and then slowly increase in weight do this as a warm up before your exercises, or like say your big upper body day, or before other sporting activities that you might be planning to do. Nice way to get the blood pumping, nice way to sort of get re-familiarize yourself with muscles that are really gonna help you in these um, end range positions. If you like this video, then please hit like below. Otherwise, to check out more of our content in the future, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo over here. And to check out our latest video, click up here.